See how Korea retaliates. They're gonna at some point decide they've had enough. Yeah, here's a man at arms. This is the point they've decided they've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> it took us a while to get to this point, but it is it is a point. The letter is mine now. Oh, thank goodness. This will just be a little barricade. This mountain pass between me and Korea is now closed off, so that's that's looking lovely. We'll just keep pillaging for a little bit. Do we go and get some faith? Faith pattern or like faith generally to try and build my religion quicker could be a good option, that. Yeah, let's do it. An old oracle's here and a mine and oh, there's loads of stuff to go and pillage. And this arch is probably going to get killed immediately. Yeah, one hit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But it easily made its money's worth with all of that science pillaging, with the gold pillaging. It did great. It did absolutely great. And 56 faith. Hey, it's a small amount of faith, but it's all... It all works eventually. Minus four. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. But this city's providing me a lot of faith per turn. Yeah, minus seven. I'm going to have to move Pingala into it, aren't I? Maybe. Emplacement or oh, Bridonna. We're getting there. Very talented archer. Okay, I'm going to use my faith to buy a market for a bit of gold. Trade route wise, you can see already we have plus 12 trade routes from this desert city. So that is suddenly looking really, really nice. Now, Amani would, I would love to do something with the letter, but right now the letter's not really giving me anything, so I'm tempted to move Amani out. But equally, Pingala's not really giving anything to me at the moment. A little bit of science and culture, but nothing crazy, nothing I can't pillage. So let's buy the trader and I'll move it over and get 12 gold per turn route. Looks like Hungary has a catapult just randomly chilling there. I'm sure that's a not a problem. That is a good Sugaba space. And then this as well for the holy site. Yep, that'll do. Okay, so we'll we'll work on that in a second. I, I have no production in the city. There's nothing this city can do. Maybe Moksha would be useful. Settle too close. Uh, no, I'm just going to generate grievances. I'm sorry. I can't sell the Diplo favor, even if I had it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Bam. Oh, it's not enough. Hungry keep increasing. They keep increasing how much in the way of profit points they're generating at the moment. And it's getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And I'm not going to be able to run this very quickly. Am I not going to get a religion? This is tragic. <laughs> What's going on in this game? Actually, with this trade route to the letter, I can now, man yeah, I can move Amani. Oh, let's now go and Amani tour. Let's send you to Z. Zanzibar, go down there, find something. Canada is already in the process of sending Armani down there, but maybe we can claim the city-state. It would give me a little bit more era score. We desperately need to go heroic here. We're going to need something heroic to pull this game back. That would be, that would be up there with the things that we would need. Uh, 113 gold, bam. Yes, the pillaging looks good. Oh, maybe I can chop, I can have to get a builder and chop out the holy site prayers, which is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous waste of production, but what else am I going to do to make sure that Hungary doesn't get this profit before me. It comes the man at arms, but it's taking the Valletta pass, so hopefully Valletta will just hold it off for a little bit. That's what we're hoping anyway. That's that's what we're hoping. I don't know if that's necessarily going to be true. Oh, I'm going to lose this builder to the um, Jerusalem troops here. I have to take the punt. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. Give this to me. Give me this religion. Don't tease me like this game. Don't tease me like this. In fact, actually, I'm going to run and get this gold first, just in case that somehow is helpful. Every turn I turn over, I'm having a look at this. I need to just, I just need to watch what Hungary is doing. Please don't. Yeah, I lost the unit, but that's fine because Bredonna is now back in the city center producing the big shot. So hopefully we can go and get that builder back. So bam, all we need is enough yield now. All we need is enough yield. Oh, the builder, are you fixing everything I'm pillaging? Please do that. That sounds great. I love that as an idea. Hungary is still denouncing me. Fine, whatever. You already attacked me once. What are you going to do? Attack me again? Ha ha ha. You wouldn't do that. Um, disclaimer, they absolutely would do that. <laughs> And I know it. I know it. Oh, this feels like such a waste, but I do not trust Hungary. Because, like, it's 240 faith for me to insta buy this profit, and they have that. So there's a good chance they're going to win this. So I'm going to move 335 gold. Oh, that's so much of my gold in to just making sure we get this profit. That is one era score. We will get the last religion. Oh, I'm so happy. But we need to get this, uh, this heroic era. If we don't get this, yeah, this could be trouble. Oh, no, and... Canada has taken Zanzibar. Canada has taken Zanzibar. Okay, 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 okay. We can still do this. It's fine because Amani can go to Singapore and she's got time. That'll pass to 27. Forming a religion, I think, is like 28 or 29, something like that. Maybe levying the letter, maybe putting another city near Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh, that's a good one. Getting to apprenticeship as well would be good. Getting
getting some extra mines, although my, my build has run off. I say run off, it, um, it got captured, but uh, it counts as running off. Our career's gonna come back and try and pillage me. No, no, no. I like the boldness of this play, but I'm not going to allow you to do that, no. Well, at the very least, at the very least, let's form a religion. We need something that just really, really expresses the pain of this game, and I think that's fair. And it's still available, religious community, just like work ethic. The AI very rarely goes for it, and we don't mind that at all. Do we want to focus on gold? Do we want to focus on faith? I don't know. I think gold uh, is not a bad idea because it will let me get a building down and that would help with religious community. We're going to get four gold on my trade routes to start with. Maybe defender of the faith would be quite appropriate in this instance. <laughs> Oh dear. Now we're gonna go for everyone's favorite dentist. It's Teeth. Yes, I do know it's pronounced Tithe, but it's Teeth. Ha ha. And that gained two era score, which means in uh, four turns time, we're gonna get two from Singapore. It'll put me onto 29. And then I guess what we could do is get a bunch of era score from Eureka's. That is still something we can do. Things like watermills, things like mines, own three archers. I think a builder is the most likely I'm gonna have, be able to do any of this stuff. I mean, pasture, did we know we've already unlocked horseback riding, haven't we? But farmer resource is still available. Three mines is still available. This builder's just going to run off in the other direction. I know it already. So chances of getting that one back are pretty slim. Korea still doesn't want peace, by the way. They are just going for eternal and forever peace. I, I do respect it. It is annoying. It's just causing me to just continue pillaging them, to be fair. And at some point, they will, you know, remember that they can put walls up and then I'm, you know, in a world of pain, but we're not, we're not worrying about that just now. Oh, Valletta. I can put walls up. Oh, this is useful. I can get era score from Valletta. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've been shouting in the comments at this point, but that, that is a good pickup for me. Oh, actually, hang on. We can trap the builder here. That's really handy. It means I can get my builder back. There's nowhere it can move now, but I can't get it. But my capital would absolutely love ancient walls. It really would. There's the engineering boost. That's one era score. We're going to get two from Singapore. Still need a couple, but a uh, watermill. That's uh, easy to get and there's a bit of gold there 113 still which means I can get another builder I can get that boost for apprenticeship I think we're fine I think we're fine go on move somewhere useful so I can move my archer back now Canada have offered me this deal I didn't go to them they offered me this deal sometimes people will offer you weird deals I'm gonna I'm gonna refuse it but there is a, a version of this challenge where if the AI offers you a deal you have to sort of take it we won't do that just for now there's my builder back excellent stuff this this man at arms is starting to get worryingly close. I do not like that at all, but we'll we'll just close our eyes and pretend it's not coming our way. One turn, two era score, four Singapore. Got a spare envoy. Oh, there's another city state we've just found. Where where are you? Up in the north. Excellent. You give extra culture for every great person I've ever earned. This is not the bonus I want, but that is two era score. We've made it. We've done it. In fact, I can actually hold off on the era score for getting apprenticeship. Although I think I might as we'll just take it now because honestly it doesn't matter bam we have apprenticeship all of our mines have one extra production so they're now giving one production rather than two i can move my beautiful archer back in in we go oh i feel like with that we've got through the worst of it i feel like we've got through the worst of it it's a heroic age oh my goodness i cannot tell you how excited i am to see a golden age no a heroic age of course and then hungry is in a dark age oh please let us take some of their stuff right monumentality it has to happen. Three inquiry, that will give us more science. Exodus is more faith and extra charges. Penbrush and voice is really, really good. And I think I would like the culture, but it's the faith. Yeah, the faith I need. And now, oh, this trade route is now worth 10 gold. But I can do better. This feels really weird, but urban planning, I would normally put in, but I'm going to put conscription in because the two gold is worth more to me than the two production, I think. And to stop the letter from stealing this desert tile, which is on its second ring, I'm going to spend 80 gold on it. It actually makes my trader it's a little bit better because, of course, the more desert I have, the more that Sahel Merchants really does begin to multiply. In fact, actually, for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to just start working this tile now. And that means I can now change this tile into this city, so at least it's growing a little bit. In fact, uh, to help that, I'm going to give it... Do I give it a granary? Mm, no. Oh, yes, of course. I've got a golden age. That means I've got another trader. Ah, oh, we've got another trader. Excellent. Always buy it in a city with the 
Sugaba. We'll get some more gold going and we need to start really settler spamming now. This is what Marley is set up for. Oh, it looks like this man at arms is going to cause us problems. Valletta, please, can you just knock that crossbow out? I don't like looking at it. Voting, I'm going to throw all... Oh, actually, this is really good. I'm going to throw all of the votes I've got, which is only two, into extra trade routes for me. And I'd love it if we got double merchant points, but I mean, I don't think we're going to win either of those, unfortunately. Please let me... No, didn't get either of them. Almost. Almost glorious. Not quite. Uh, what won't be pillaged? That's probably the better question here. Let's get... Oh, a little bit of extra production from this Hungarian route. That'll be good because then... Oh, yeah, the Sogaba is really beginning to grow. Look, much quicker now. Much, much quicker. And even quicker with that improvement. Excellent. Gridonna, I mean, you're going to have to keep firing. This, this is going to be a tough hold. But we can do this. We can do this. I'm leaving these marshes here. This is providing quite good defense cover for my city. <laughs> I can hold that line much easier. Bit more gold? 117? That's exactly what I need because now I can go and buy a settler and we're going to go over to Mount Kilimanjaro before Hungary takes it. Oh no! Oh, the man at arms! The man at arms appeared finally! No! My eternal warrior! The beautiful eternal warrior! It's got me so much yield. Ah, oh, never mind. It's, its mission is almost over. Another route. We could get an envoy with Singapore but there's no way that's uh, not going to get killed. So let's instead go for uh, yeah, a route to Buddha. It's becoming more of a hub. And now every desert tile this city gains, it gives me another glorious three gold. So that's beginning to look pretty cool all of a sudden. And yeah, already the settler. I'm just going to go and settle down here. I don't think there's a better spot for me. Oh, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, this game. This game is just a comedy of errors, isn't it? I love it. I love the challenge, but oh my lord, please. Please, can I just have a moment? Just a moment. Nope, we're not going to get a moment. Oh, they might lose that city, though, so that's not the worst thing. And oh, peace. Yes, 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 yes. Peace is being offered to me now. I'm just going to go check out this tile quickly, because I might be able to get one more pillage off, unless it's defended. Nope, it's not being defended. I might be able to get one more pillage off before we have to claim peace. And a merchant. We only get one merchant in in the classical era, which is really annoying, but it gives me a hundred thief and a free copy of a luxury, which is useful because I only have Mercury. I could send him on a grand tour of somewhere and pick up something better, or I could just go for a very quick tobacco to give me a little more happiness. Uh, where's the continent split? There it is, Europe. So I might send you to maybe go and get something up there. Yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll we'll take uh take it out. Okay, fine. Right. So Hungary have ruined that settlement for me. <laughs> they ruined it for me. I'm going to go and settle this pass up to the north then. Uh, uh, yes, up to the north to stop good old Korea getting in. I, th I think that might be the better thing to do. But I mean, right now we, we kind of need everything, don't we? So it's not like we can really say one idea is better than another. Let's chop out the Sugaba though as quickly as we can. Bam. Oh, I probably should have kept that tile to work. But no, three population. That's good. Oh, well, Singapore actually stole the settler for me. I mean, it would be good if they gave it to me. But nope, they're just going to hold on to it forever now. <laughs> For, forever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, here we go. We're going to get just one cheeky pillage off. It's not going to give me a huge amount, but at least it's something, you know? Bam, pillage. Now we can have peace. Yeah, there you go. That was horrific. Please, let's never do that again. I'm going to wait to buy the settler. I'm going to actually pop you into this and, and move Pingala back to my capital. But once the Sugaba is down, I might be able to just quickly chop out that marsh, get to four pop, then put the holy site down and then I can start spamming settlers from this city because I've got six bonus food per turn coming in from the desert. There's nothing else this city can really do other than just get from one pop to two. So this is a really, really good place. Whereas my capital, I'd rather it stayed on high pop. That kind of makes sense in my head. Whether it makes sense in everyone else's head, I, I don't know. But but in my head, it makes perfect sense. What did I just, what did I delete? Did I just get rid of the tat? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I did. The letter has got a huge army. I'm liking it as a friend. This is, this is a brilliant friend. Okay, Sugaba finished. Let's get that builder in quickly. And we'll also put a watermill in to get me construction, which I think I'll be pretty happy with down the line. We'll get you finishing working on that monument. That'll just pick up the speed in which you pick up desert tiles. I like that. Silver. That helps my capital a little bit. Yeah, just more gold. More gold is good. Let's test to see if this works. We can go to this tile, chop it out. There we go. Four pop. And now 
You can put that holy site down like so. The holy site itself isn't very useful, but it is useful because if I put it down, put a shrine in it, I can get four extra gold at the moment from trade routes to that city, which is lovely. I do need to just make sure that I spread my religion there before I forget. But here's my first settler. And this city should recover its pop very quickly. He hopes. He hopes desperately. <laughs> Whether it will or not is another question. Yeah, it does. It does. Amazing. So we're already at the moment on a 20% plus 30% discount. So settlers are currently being bought for half price in cities with a Sugaba. We will be able to improve that though. So that's what we're going to be working towards as quickly as possible. My capital is going to get busy working commercial hub investments. The more merchant points we can get, the better. The more gold we can produce, the better as well. Plus it's one thing that I don't get a huge production penalty on. Carthage, honor to meet you. You're doing a lot better than me. 140 in science per turn. And how many cities? Six cities. Yeah. I feel like I feel like you're doing a lot better than me. Nobody's got any luxuries to trade at the moment, which is very frustrating. Please, can somebody just get a duplicate? I do not mind what the duplicate is in. Oh, I was going to actually settle on the Plains Hills because of the gold and the production. But thinking about it, now I want to go and settle over here because of the two desert tiles. Yeah, Marley. Weird Marley play. There we go. City number three. First settlement on Europe. Nice little defensive location with a couple of mines that can be worked quite nicely. More importantly, Importantly, some very good locations for Sugaba. That is a great holy site spot, so I'm going to put the Sugaba there. This is where city patron goddess really comes into its own, because I've got 25 extra production on that initial district, which means if I can make one chop, but a single chop on that forest, then I should be able to get most of the Sugaba immediately raised up. So, well, not raised, the opposite, built. Built from the ground up. City number four. Again, some lovely rainforest. I'm just making sure that there's a new build builder on the way to every city because I do want to get this Sugaba up as quickly as possible. Holy Sight reckons it can go there quite nicely. I'm just trying to work out if there's a better location that I could maybe chain some stuff up. Maybe there is. No, not really. So I'll put it here just in case I build a harbour for whatever reason. I probably won't, but you never know. And even with a governor, Eager is beginning to flip. That's really handy. This city is key to unlocking all of this area around me, I think. I think. I don't actually know that, <laughs> but I think think it is. Oh, God King is so much worse now that I have scripture, but never mind. Very strange old government we've got because we're not building wonders or settlers or anything like that. We're just making sure we're generating as much gold as physically possible. But here we go. So go up, bam. Oh, big old chop. You see what I mean? Really good pantheon for that. Just means that the mass settling is absolutely a valid tactic. Theology as well means we've now got temples. Now, how much do temples cost? 380 gold? Oh, thank goodness. A one for one. Our first actual trade with the AI. And it does make all of my cities happy. That feels good. I've switched to some holy site prayers in the hope that I can spread my religion around a little bit better because I still haven't converted my own cities, which I find ridiculous. But never mind. Chop out this district. I've got Radonna just having a quick peek down here. What else can we do? If I can settle round the corner, that'll be very handy. More settlers. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go and find that tobacco. We need to unlock ship building and sailing I think soon because it would be I mean, if this is a continents and islands map I am very much squished in here we're gonna have to find the sea and go and mass settle onto it I think hey Canada now has a luxury oh the AI is finally coming through with useful trades it only took you to turn 103 oh my goodness we're way beyond turn 100 that's horrifying <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were, we had loads more time than that. Oh no. All right. Well, that's, um, that's worrying. Let's just chop that, that. And the Sugaba is finished. There's another one done. Excellent. Markets are quite expensive. I do want to start getting these as soon as possible because this is the key, the absolute key to me producing more gold per turn. Kahokia, another city state. Have I still got my double card in? I do for this very moment. That would be an extra two gold in the capital and in every market. That's nice. I've made a little mission for myself. It's going to make sure that all my cities have been converted in good time. But now instead of settlers, very briefly, I'm going to just work on the three markets that I'm missing so far. 380 gold or 190 faith. It should be easy enough to get. I'm actually saying that. Oh, my capital. I've just managed to chop out seven population. Quick, get a government plaza down. Excellent. I'll just boost all of the holy sites, the Sugaba, bit more faith, bit more gold. Excellent. Portugal. Are oh, you going to make me feel really poor? No, 67. I have more gold potential 
return than Portugal. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Phoenicia is sending their religion over to me. Inca is only plus eight gold. Oh my goodness, they're bankrupting themselves without me even doing anything. Normally that's my job. What's going on, Inca? What are you doing? Who knows? Bam, my religion's in my city. Good. Hopefully that will stop Phoenicia from getting any ideas and trying to spread their religion to me. Doesn't always work like that. Hopefully a little bit. Oh, there's Canada. Oh, with a, with a beautiful zero pop city. <laughs> I don't think that's right. If an AI offers open borders, by the way, I'm going to do it. And again, luxuries, one for one luxuries. Career is actually turning into a bit of an ally here. Maybe it's like a player. They thought they could take a city early game, so they gave it a try. It didn't work. And then they went fair, fair, and then backed off. I like that. Oh, that market just gave me so much extra gold. Oh, that's that was way more effective than I thought it would be. Let's get this trader going. And yeah, I just need trade routes, trade routes, trade routes. Ship building. I can get out to sea now if I want. It, I mean, I don't know why I would want to, but I could if I wanted. Oh my goodness. Look at these trade routes. They're getting crazy. Uh, Kahokia. Let's, yeah, a couple of envoys with them. Oh, I can take over that city now with one envoy. That would let me put the mounds in, which would be really handy because that's one of the few things I can put in a desert. Oh, that's not bad. All right, remember that. Remember that. <laughs> really putting the population squeeze on Ego now. What you gonna do there? Not gonna work out for you, is it? Ah, Korea wants to be friends. All right. I, I feel like friends with Korea is not a bad option for me here. Settle city number five. Next to Kilimanjaro. Three era score for doing that. And again, even more pressure on Hungary. Follows my religion. All the extra gold from doing that. Look at this trade route. Production, gold, science, culture. Yeah. Okay. If we can actually make friends with Korea here, make an ally of them later on. I'm thinking Vissel Banken. And I always forget to put this card in, but it's so much better than any card I've got at the moment. Land surveyors. 20% extra off buying tiles, which means I can start to actually buy tiles now because every desert tile I gain in this city is now worth, what is it, four gold at the minimum? Because I've got four roots coming from this city. Yeah, we need to start getting that out as quickly as possible, spreading my religion around. Good. I feel like I'm not going to lose my religion now. That's always a bit of a risk early game of feudalism. Yes, we need more builder charges. Please give me more builders. Can this medieval era just not end? I feel like this, this is really recovering the game for me here. <laughs> got a government plaza. Do I want to put Pingala through or do we want to focus on getting Magnus out quickly? I might get Magnus out actually. Be useful. So let's put Magnus in this city and immediately give you provision. I'm going to wait on that chop until the city's going. But yeah, if Kilimanjaro is going to give me some amazing yields, I'm going to take him. The one thing that capital can't buy is a government plaza building. So let's go for Ancestral Hall. The three builders combined with my Pantheon means that I can chop out Sugabas. That's why I've got so many Sugabas before I even have the money to get Mark markets. We just have to focus on gold and gold and gold. Portugal missionary, Venetian missionary. God, the missionaries are all around here. As long as I don't mess with any of my stuff, I'm happy to just let them go around, but I'm keeping an eye on them. Oh, excellent. A merchant that gives me a three trader and gold. The trade routes in this city provide two to each city. I mean, that is really cool, actually. So yeah, we'll get you up and running and suddenly got all kinds of routes that we can do. There is a route to Jerusalem. Oh, I imagine if we'd gone owls in this game that would have been brilliant and one to the letter 230 gold now just gonna buy a couple of desert tiles that are on the border with hungary and the letter each one is worth seven gold per turn so i make my money back pretty quickly but i'm just just conscious of their border expansion i don't think they were going to go into desert the ai is really really slow at prioritizing desert as you'd expect right it's a useless tile oh preslav another city state very good no one's taking this on even better this is where the trade routes start to get really really good now we've got six Six routes out of this city. So just building a holy site should give me another 12 gold per turn because, oh, I literally, I just put all these improvements down. I literally, oh, and it's, it's wiped them. It wiped them. Oh, it doesn't even half remove them. That's really annoying. Fine. But yeah, look, the holy site now gives two to every route. International trade routes provide two gold to cities with holy sites and additional two gold for every building in the holy site district. It's a really badly worded community religious follower thing. It means the city you're sending the route for from, not to. It's very, very badly worded. Well, this city, what does it need? Let's think about this. Oh yeah, that's right. Petra. As soon as we get this down, it'll be a beautiful city of majestic glory. But watch the shrine. This should make my gold go up by about 12 per turn. 268, 282. What did I say? Yeah, these roots. These roots are going to start to grow and grow and grow. We'll get a temple in that city as quickly as we can. More faith per turn is also very cool. Go on, hungry. Give this city up. You know you want to. Yes. 
done. Oh, we easily, easily have the most loyalty here. So we'll take that city from you, Hungary. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, just taking a few turns to really focus on my economy. Up to 282 gold per turn. But we can keep pushing this and pushing it and pushing it before we start to expand again. I think that's the better option for us right now. Um, Valletta, do you want to join my religion? Of course you do. Reformed church boost. Oh, 15% extra discount. If we can run theocracy with monumentality, we'll be buying settlers not at a 50% discount, but at a 65% discount. It's very effective. Here is a temple. Again, watch my gold. 285 should go to about 297. Oh, bang on. And now I need to get an apostle to religiously improve my religion, but that kind of half makes sense. Put a building in the city and we can make our trade routes the maximum efficiency they can get to. We've almost got 30 gold routes now. And the more desert we accumulate, which we are starting to accumulate fairly rapidly now better it'll just increase and increase and increase still buying markets though and i keep checking to see if the gold routes are that they are the best still from uh gal but yeah i mean you can see just how ridiculously good this is this city can send a route to this city the five gold but if i change it from this one to this one it's 24 gold that is my religion and the desert bonuses all firing in conjunction beautiful to see you love to see it man my doll where are you over that oh Oh, interesting. Very interesting. More city-states are appearing that should reveal large chunks of the map to me. All of that is really good for era score. Ten turns. Oh, we are running out of time to get another golden age. It's imperative we do. We need 16 era score in ten turns. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is pick up my unique unit. That'll give me four era score and hitting feudalism gives me one. So that's five. How many cities have people got? Five, five, seven, nine? Okay, right. We're nowhere near getting sprawling empire. Now, when they're getting a 10 population city, I don't think. So we'll keep doing all the good stuff, but we might have to come up with something a little bit more creative to get that era score. Actually, this apostle will help a little bit. Oh, we get two era score from flipping that city. We get era score every time. Oh, yeah, we settle either on desert or we settle near the AI. So maybe aggressive settlements. That could be a useful thing. Imhotep? Imhotep might not be a bad idea because we can use Imhotep to rush wonders. Oh, that's not bad. Any any game with Imhotep is always a game where there's a chance. A chance. Just a small one. That's all you need. City center buildings, please. And Melee. We didn't win this last time. Um, none of these are really going to matter to me. I mean, I could try and do production into like holy site buildings, but I'd rather just buy all that. So I'll save my favor for this run. City center Melee, we actually got both points, but it's always good to know. It's spread religion to extra terms. I know these are good promotions, but I'm just going to evangelize first. I think it's better to do this this way around. Pagoda or mosque? I think we're going to go mosque. Helps me to spread the religion a little quicker. Yeah, actually, Imhotep would give me three era score, and then it would be worth two chunks just to finish the wonders. I like that. This is a really cool idea. No, I like, and I think this is brilliant. I do say so myself. I'm a genius. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope this wouldn't happen. Okay, this three city is sending all of its units against me. I, I don't mind if they pillage my tiles. That I can deal with. The big problem is if they choose to, you know, actually destroy things of use for me. Build a couple of arches and just see if we can pepper them a little bit, but don't like this at all. In fact, actually, I realize my trade city has no walls. <laughs> Let's get those up quickly. Bengala, give yourself connoisseur. Thank you so much. Hungary just used the scientist with mountain adjacency on this desert tile. N not on this tile or this tile. Th there was one adjacency Hungary. Come on, that is a, that is a crime. Oh, I can't believe they did that. <laughs> That's awful. There we go. Ego falls. By falls, I mean it joins the dark side. Ah, ah. Two era score. We've hit the normal age. We still have 14 era score to go in five turns. But, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no. Literally last term. Last turn, Imhotep was taken. Oh. I can't believe that. 150 AD. Did you see? Look, just as I got enough. What is it about this game and just foiling me? <laughs> Ah, does the Seador still work? Does the Seador still work? I think so. Um, one thing I can do is just try and chop out a harbor, which is a plus three. Is that good enough? No, it needs to be plus four. Oh, no. Okay, right. This is all starting to come undone a bit. Plus three holy site is what I need, but we've only got twos at the moment. Or we don't have the population to follow on to anything like that. This merchant is a good pickup. Extra trade route capacity. Faith from trade routes as well. Yeah, that's all really, really cool. All right, fine. 
Ben. Well, a seer door, we, we have to get a seer door. That at the very minimum is worth three era score for me. And it's the Petra play. Feudalism will give me one more. That takes me to 54. But that also gives me this tech for stirrups. That will put me to 58. I'd still be sick short. I'd still be sick short. Oh no. What is an Ursa to do? Oh, don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm losing my uh, thought pattern here. Well, what what can I do? What would what would help me? Is there era score I can get? I guess I could levy. I could levy. We could declare formal wars and we could levy. Um, but the problem is city states have a lot, of, like a lot of army, so I could probably only do two at most. So I could build a boat. That's not a bad idea. Okay, boat is is a pretty decent idea. Get that galley, yeah, bought, and then we can hopefully just chop it out for 65. We'll do that next turn because I can put the galley card in for that one. Desperately trying to just explore in both directions here. We've got a warrior out on the right. We've got the wonderful Bredonna. She's on a mission to go left. Barb Camp, but you've appeared too late. Too late. We still have Diplomatic League in. That's good. Lands of Airs is good. Canavasseries is good. In comes Serfdom. And we've got an envoy from finishing the Diplo quarter. So there was a city state or two. Nana Doll was the one I wanted. I put two envoys into that one and bam. Two era score. And we meet Spain and Yongle and Torre del Banya. Okay, that's handy. Oh, there's a lot of space out there. Actually, just in the long run, that's re reassuring. Wow, that was one era score. Two, three, four, six. Just from one city state. Okay, that we like. That we like. Hello, Yongle. Yongle's on 200 cents. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Spain is on 150 culture. It's fine. It can't hurt us. It can only kill us. That's what you need to remember. Let's get this boat chopped out. There you go. It's a useless boat, but it is a boat. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Two era score. I think if we finish Petra, uh, I think we have the golden age somehow. Never may it be said, ladies and gentlemen, that I am not the era score master. Like, come on. Come on. That's that's worth a congratulations. That's got to be worth a congratulations. 66 population with Yong Lei. That might be why they're doing so good. Yeah, just a casual 12 population city hanging around. We know what Yong Lei can do with that. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. And bam, my trading city has Petra. Oh. Oh, how many times, how many times have you, you delightful and lovely people in the comments, told me, Oh, sir, it's a huge desert city. You should build Petra. I did it. I finally did it. Ha <laughs> ha. Two food, two gold, one production in all desert tiles. Oh, yes. Look at it. Look at how gloriously beautiful it is. It's still not growing. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it will eventually. Well, now I've guaranteed the golden age. This is sort of my thought process from this point on. If I can make more gold, I'll make more gold. If I can't make more gold, I'll buy settlers. So right now, I still have one market available to me. That pushes my trade routes up, means I can then get a trader, and then we can go from there. But we will start now to think about settling everywhere we can. I'm going to settle as many cities around Toronto as possible, because I reckon I can loyalty spam it. I'm going to try and take this coast. That'll let me get out to to the sea and then we're just going to start mass settling. I currently have six cities. By the end of next era I would like a minimum of about 20. I know, ambitious, but I think we can do it. Also increases trade route capacity by one and trade routes to city states provide more faith. That is awesome. The one problem I've got and the one problem I can really think of is I don't really have a win condition here. All I can do is just continue growing. My gold is, is all important. The sooner I can get it to like a thousand gold per turn, the better I'll feel about my situation but yeah my science is rubbish my culture is rubbish i don't really have any diplomatic points i don't really know what my out is <laughs> but we'll we'll figure that out we'll figure that out in time look at these gold roots though these are amazing actually i need to send more scouts out so i can find more cities to trade with i've only got about four routes available in gal left and yeah i could trade from other places but really would you want to just gonna nab this desert tile before it's stolen watch my gold 431 per turn, 441 per turn. Each desert tile is worth 10 gold per turn. It's mad, isn't it? In 12 turns, I'll make all that gold back. Yeah, Korea is trying to send a settler out here. I spotted this, luckily, and bought a settler myself. If I can go and settle the coast and stop them from getting out, that'll be awesome. Georgia, honor to meet you. Everyone's got a lot of luxuries, but I've got no spares to trade at the moment, which is a bit annoying. I need to sort that out. But yeah, I'm just going to run over. They might try and settle maybe this location first, which, which could be a little bit annoying. It doesn't matter, as long as I can get to the coast, because Coast is all important. Then I can get out to sea. As long as I've got serfdom in, I've got caravasseries in, do all the important stuff, I can now start buying settlers. Here we go. And here is the Renaissance era. 
There can only be one choice for us. It's gotta be monumentality because I just, I, this 30% cheaper stacks of my Sogaba, 50% cheaper scare settlers, and it will get better. We'll keep going from there. And yep, we managed to just skip ahead of this settler, which is really good. I'm gonna go and settle on this tile and that will give me access and space for another city on one of these two tiles. Yeah, that works for me. That works well for me. But look, got another settler out. We're now starting to spam settle, which is exactly what we wanted to see. They're staying pretty cheap. I've ooh, got another another trader. Oh, of course, I'm in a golden age. Hey, well, let's get that trader in immediately then. Fantastic. What's everybody else around me in? Normal age for Hungary, normal age for Canada. Rapid Noi, lots of city states, lots of different options. Auckland has appeared. Later on, that would be good, although annoyingly, I'm not a city. Civilization, whatever you'd call me. Mali, that really uses production very well, but I'm just about to pick up Hunza. Trade routes generating gold for every five tiles they travel. That's the sort of thing that Mali can get on board with. More trade, roots, all this extra science and culture I get with trading with Korea is really helpful because I've lost all of my science. I was getting it from my Sugabas with three inquiry, no more. I'm gonna spend a couple of turns worth of gold on builders to make sure that I've got all the luxuries improved. If we're only doing one for one trading, which is a bit of a limitation, I need to actually make sure that my trade routes or my, my luxuries are improved so I can trade them in the first place. Here is my envoy to Hunza, which is down here in the bottom of the map, but watch for gold. 470 goes to 400. 192. It's about two extra gold per trade route. Not too much at the moment, but that will stack very quickly. Here is some mercury, here is some tobacco, and here is some sugar. Oh, we have duplicates now. We actually have duplicates. Let's go and see if we can go and trade with people. Yong Lei. One, two, one, two. There you go. And now we're ecstatic with everybody. Fantastic. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennest, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.